Good morning, Lakewood. It's the 23rd of January. And this is Cougar News in the Morning. I'm Blake. And I'm Phoebe. Would you all stand and follow us in the Pledge of Allegiance? I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to, to the flag. flag. Hey, I bet you didn't know the library has a lot of things going on these days. Let's take a look. I'm Mrs. Repke, and this is my new promotion for the library. When you're walking by outside in the hallway, I have put two different books that I've selected that have been made into movies, and you can choose one of them you've either seen, or maybe you've read the book or want to read the book, and you sign your name for this week, it's either the Star Wars or the Help. And on Friday's fifth period, I walk around and I deliver candy to five of the names that I randomly choose. It's kind of just a fun thing. So come on to the library and take a look. On the long counter when you come in near the copier in the library, there's the project place. This is new and behind this you'll see all sorts of pens, scissors, glue sticks, colored pencils, anything to add to or help you complete some projects, especially with the end of the semester coming up. So use the project space and the big counter work area. And if you didn't know already, our Pennies for Patients fundraiser begins next week. Here's a little look into one story. This is Sam. He's a kid just like us. He's always looking for adventure. He's really good at solving math problems and teaching his dog Charlie to do tricks. Well, kind of. The only thing that makes Sam any different than you and me is that he's a hero. Breath in, hold, and out. Except the bad guys Sam is up against aren't like the ones in movies. These bad guys are called cancer, and they're pretty scary. But Sam is super brave because he has parents, nurses, and doctors right by his side. Types of chemotherapy. I'll present these options to you. Sam has a whole squad, and you might not know it, but you're on Sam's squad too, because you can raise money to help kids like Sam get better. You can search every nook and cranny of the house, do some extra chores to help out your family and neighbors, or come up with your own ideas to raise money. You can even make your own page on the website with your parents, so you can collect money from your family and friends. Then, bring what you've raised to school and add it to your class box. All of that money goes to help doctors and scientists find a cure for cancer. And it'll teach families so they know what to expect when cancer comes knocking, and let them know that they're not alone either. With your help, Sam's squad will get so big Cancer won't be messing with kids like Sam anymore. Because it means that cancer has to answer to kids like us. Make sure to bring your spare change starting on Monday to help improve a child's life. And there will be an Everett Community College Running Start info session during both lunches in the Career Center. Students interested in attending Running Start in their junior and senior year, this is for you. Your next opportunity to give blood will be on Wednesday, February 5th. Sign up will take place soon. Now let's go to sports with Mason and Jared. Hey, it's Mason. Hey, it's Jared. And this is your Cougar Sports Update. The Cougar women take on former Cascade Conference rival Sultan in Sultan at 645 tonight. The Cougar men are at home in the Cougar Den, taking on the Red Raiders of Bellingham at 715. Theme is country. Your Cougar men's wrestling team beat Anna Cordes 48-30 last night on senior night. Winning by pins were Punchy O'Hara, Gage Wetzel, Brendan McClellan, Dre Yang, and Barrett Meyer. The team finished the regular dual meet schedule with six wins and three losses. Soccer training is underway and open to everyone. If you have questions, see Coach Anderson. The preseason boys soccer meeting for the spring team will take place on both first and second lunch in Mr. Anderson's room on Friday. And that's it for sports. Go Cougs. Thank you, Mason and Jared. Don't forget those deli sandwiches starting next Monday. If that doesn't give you a reason to come to school, I don't know what will. 
And with that, let's make it a day, Lakewood. Whether it's good, bad, or great. It's all up to you. Did you know different temperature water makes different sounds when it pours? Oh. Think about that, Lakewood.